Hey, this is Pastor Ryan. Thanks for joining us for Step 1. Our passage this week is Galatians chapter 3, verses 1-29. through 29. Step 1 is a resource to help aid in your inductive Bible study. It's a journey through the observation step. First, we're going to take a broad look at the passage. Paul asks six questions in chapter 3, verses 1-6, through six, then makes the case that there is a relationship between faith and Abraham. In contrast, those who rely on works of the law are under a curse, because no one follows the law perfectly. Paul switches back to Abraham, saying he was given a promise that was accepted by faith. If this is true about Abraham, that he was in relationship with God through a promise, Paul answers the question, why would God then give Israel the law? And if Abraham lived in relationship with God through a promise, does that mean the law and the promise are opposed to each other? Chapter 3 then closes with Paul's discussion about the relationship between faith and being Abraham's offspring and our acceptance of the promise. We're going to read through the passage together, highlighting some of these themes. After calling the Galatian church foolish, he asks a series of six questions. These questions center on a contrast between the law and faith. Did the Spirit come because people were doing the works of the law, or by hearing with faith? Paul then makes the case that those of faith are sons of Abraham, because Abraham was the original man of faith. Paul then gives an explanation about those who rely on the works of the law. He says everyone who is relying on the works of the law are cursed, because the law itself curses everyone who does not perfectly follow it. And you can't be justified by the law, because the scripture itself says, the righteous shall live by faith. What did Christ do? He became a curse for us, so we could eventually receive the promise by faith. Paul explains Abraham was in relationship with God through a promise to his offspring. The law came later and can't make the promise void. God gave it to Abraham by a promise. Paul then answers a couple of related questions. First, if the promise was so good, why did God give the law? It was a measure added until the offspring could come and make good on God's promise. Second, if the law was added, is it in conflict with God's promises? Definitely not. The law had its purpose, to imprison everything under sin. The law can't give life. The purpose of the promise, received by faith, was to bring righteousness. Paul finishes with one more contrast between faith and the law, saying the law held us captive until the coming faith was revealed. The law was a guardian until we were justified by faith. Now that faith has come, we're no longer under a guardian because we're sons of God through faith. Ultimately, we're Abraham's offspring because we're heirs according to the promise we received by faith. This is a dense set of paragraphs with a tightly knit argument from Paul. It'll be important for you to read through and study the material further to understand his flow of thought. And that's step one for Galatians chapter three, verses one through 29. We'd encourage you to continue your step one journey on your own. What observations do you see in the text? What's an important observation you think we missed in today's video? You're encouraged to use the life group notes to continue your Bible study journey this week. We're looking forward to processing our Bible study journeys together this Sunday at Louisville Evangelical Free Church. We hope to see you then.